three ways to protect your silver. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. I really, really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Um, you know what, guys? This may be one of the most important aspects of stacking physical silver and gold. Because, because a wrong decision here when it comes to storing and protecting your silver could lead to loss of thousands of dollars. So I'm going to give you three ways that you can protect your silver. And frankly, one of them is the way I do it, okay? But I'll give you three. The first way is actually one of the most common ways that people try to protect their stack. And that is to put their precious metals in a bank safety deposit box. Well, what am I going to say about that? All right. <laughs> yes, that does protect your silver in sort of a run-of-the-mill way against thieves. It is kind of hard to break into a bank, okay? <laughs> it is kind of secure in there. Um, you know, it, it, it's an option. And many people do that. They think, well, you know, I'm going to put it in, in, the, in a bank. That's where it's safe. You know, if you talk to people that are old, like my parents, say, who, who lived in the aftermath of, of the Great Depression, <laughs> they didn't trust the banks at all. Okay, that's where the whole rise of the stuff in your mattress full of, of currency came from. They knew what happened to the banks and the runs that occurred on the bank. So, you know, yes, that is an option. Put it in the bank. But it comes with a lot of downsides, right? You only have a certain amount of access to your precious metals. It's very restricted. You, know, you just can't walk in there at all hours of the night. <laughs> And uh, those boxes are not protected against robbery, okay? So if somebody does break in and steal your silver, it, it's gone. The bank's not going to pay for it. But there's another risk associated with storing your silver in a de safety deposit box. A bank bail-in. I've said this many, many times on several videos. When the next crisis occurs... We're not going to have so much of a bank bailout as I believe a bank bail-in. They are going to go after the assets that we have in the bank, whether it be currency or precious metals. So, <laughs> guys, be really, really cognizant of that. I don't recommend storing your precious metals at a bank, okay? I want to hold it. In fact, I'm going to be pulling some precious metals out of this brown paper bag, and I'm going to hold it, okay? <laughs> I wouldn't even tell you to um, put your precious metals at another storage depository, okay? Even one out of the country. And I know some people really think that's a good idea. In fact, maybe you think it is a good idea, and maybe you're questioning why Yankee wouldn't like that idea. I mean, I am a prepper, okay? Uh, I can understand it conceptually, but I don't feel I'm in the stage where I would or could bug out of the country. And so therefore, I, I don't really care much about sending my gold and silver out of the country either. So I, I want to hold it. I want it to be close by. So this bunch of silver, I'm going to start uh, with this. This is silver that I've been assisting people in our community uh, in getting through the Yankee Swap. So someone wanted a bunch of Canadian maple leaves. Ooh, hoo -hoo. love the Canadian maple leaves. He wanted 10. So I think, yeah, I think I have that much. I should have that much. Yep, yeah. these are all going to be mailed out shortly. And... Hopefully it'll make his day a okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, and there's a couple other things that somebody in our community wanted. Look at these sunshine minty rounds. Aren't they really, really sharp? Very shiny. No face reveal here. I gotta be careful. Really cool. Yep, they've got the special uh, security feature in the back. Really nice. <laughs> sunshine minting. I think uh, he got three of these. 
Uh, oh, a couple more maples. Yep. The queenie on that side. Yep. So let's stack those up. We got the maple leaves. We got the sunshine minting rounds. That's going out. Okay. Barbers. Yes. Yeah, somebody else was like, Yankee, I want barbers. <laughs> I said, dude, that's not exactly junk. Okay. <laughs> Constitutional. Yeah, but these things are gorgeous. And he, but he wanted $10 face of barbers. Oh, should probably do a, an Instagram shot of these. And I'm not going to go through them all, but look at this. Wow, I kept them in the two by twos. I think that'll be kind of special to see. You can look at the dates really easy. They're all written on there. No key dates. So in a sense, uh, it was a good deal. It, 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 it is considered, I guess, junk, but barbers, man. Whew. And then, oh, this is a great story. Well, somebody in our community wanted wanted to do the Yankee Swap, but he said his, I think his eight-year-old son said he wanted a five-ounce bar from Yankee. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> really cool. Wow. That's that's really cool. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that he's gotten his son in, involved in it. Really special. What else we got in here? Oh, last two. Oh, no, no, last two. Last one, I guess, of the... Canadian Maple Leafs, and then a Buffalo Round. Yeah, so we got Buffalo Rounds, Canadian Maple Leafs, it's three Sunshine Mints, the Barbers. Oh, the one who got the Barber also wanted a nice $10 face roll of Benji's. Now, I should, probably shouldn't pull all these out, but oh yeah, Benji's. Isn't that great? Oh, cool. So I'll be mailing those out. Really excited about doing this for the community. The Yankee Swap, if you're interested, again, check the description of my video. It will uh, give you all the info on it. So now, where was I? <laughs> I get completely lost when I look at all that silver. Okay, uh, second way that you can protect your silver, and it's quite popular, okay? I think it may even be the, the second most popular way of protecting your silver, and that is bury it. Stick it in the ground. I know that might sound totally ridiculous at first. I mean, who's going to, you know, dig a hole and shove their silver in it? But people do it. And if done properly, you know, burying your silver can be kind of safe. You know, it, it, think about it. It's... It's, it's not in the bank. It's not in your house. Um, it's probably, it's not going to, you know, get damaged by a fire if you have it. People, you know, if a thief comes into your house, not going to find it. I mean, there is some benefit to burying your silver. Now, but you got to be careful, all right? So if, you, if you're going to go this route, take some precautions, okay? First, obviously, don't let anybody see you do it, okay? <laughs> do it very clandestine, very, very quietly, <laughs> if that's possible. You know, do it in the cover of night, maybe. <laughs> and and make sure you put the coins in something that's airtight, all right? Um, I, I have that uh, monster box. I You know, I wouldn't just stick the green monster box in the dirt, all right? You, you really need to seal it up. And uh, one other thing, if you're really paranoid, if you think... Ah, somebody's going to grab a metal detector and, you know, scan my yard and, and find my silver. Put it deeper than four feet. You're most likely going to be safe from uh, an average metal detector. Of course, some detector out there is going to put in the comments, my metal detector can go down six feet, Yankee. <laughs> okay, fine. Go six feet deep. Whatever it takes. Get it down there if you're going to do it. <laughs> but also realize there's some major downsides to this. And I, I'm sure it's quite apparent to you. You, you. you see it, right? You got limited access. You're not going to be doing stacking videos with the silver that you buried four feet in the in the dirt. Okay. So you're not going to get to it very easily. You got to plan this out. Obviously, you don't want people to see. You're not going to want to mention it to anyone, right? Because it's outside your house. <laughs> you know, you're going to want to keep an eye on it, right? So, yeah, you know, maybe 
there's like a tree that falls or it you know, does some damage or, or maybe you're, an excavator has to do something, you got a sprinkler system, whatnot, whatever it is, you got to keep an eye on it out there, right? If you've got a construction project that's going to be happening, you got to be concerned about your precious metals in the ground. All right, so that's an interesting way, but it ain't what Yankee does. And the third one, and I think this is the wisest one, is to hide your silver at home in a safe, maybe even a fire rated safe, okay? You gotta make sure that that safe is big enough and strong enough, okay, to be able to support your precious metals. One of the reasons why I don't like a whole lot of silver versus gold, I like my foundation to be gold, is because I like a dense stack. I want a stack that I can easily put into a safe, okay? Now, I'm not going to tell you what Yankee has for a safe. I do have a safe. But I want to make sure um, you understand that that a safe is only as good as, uh, you know, the size and weight. Maybe if it's hidden, it's important that you just don't have this little portable safe sticking out there somewhere. Because it, rule of thumb, if it's easy to carry it into the house... It's easy to carry it out of the house. So you got to make sure you get the right safe. Make sure that it's, um, you know, strong enough, protected enough, and no one's going to walk out with it. And again, don't tell anybody your combination. Try not to tell anybody you even have a safe. Uh, there are many ways to hide safes. A lot of people put them in floorboards or in walls or or, or in like like uh, like fake books or, or cans or, or whatever it is. There's all kinds of ways to do it. Some people say the best place to hide your precious metals is in plain sight because that's not where a thief is going to look. One thing I wouldn't do is I wouldn't put it in your sock drawer. <laughs> All right. So that is actually uh, the third way there is what Yankee does. I lock mine up and I don't think anybody is going to get away with my precious metals. So everyone, thank you for watching this uh, relatively short video. I'm not going to say I'm an expert at uh, safes or, or, or hiding and protecting my silver. I'm sure a lot of you out there are experts. Maybe some of you have some really cool ideas on how you protect your silver and gold. Please leave a comment down there uh, in this video. I really would love to hear and, and, and learn something from you. So let me know. And until next time, I hope your day is a-okay.